If you're looking at getting active campaign and using it to help build your list and automate your email campaigns, then obviously you're going to want to know how much is active campaign. So what we're going to do is walk through a few of the pricing options and try and figure out which one's the best for you, depending on where you are in your journey. It's also important to note that if you are getting the free trial, you're going to be getting access to all the features during that free trial, and then you can decide at what level is going to be best for you. So here we are on the active campaign pricing page. It's going to depend on how many contacts that you have, right? So if you're starting off and you don't have any contacts, then you can reduce that right down to the minimum, which is 500, which as you'll notice, change the pricing on each of the levels as well. So I would suggest if you're just starting out, start with the minimum, go with the light program, and then as your list builds, you can then grow your account and functionality of the account as well. So let's start off with the very basic stuff. So this is priced in yearly, but if you want to know how much it is monthly, then all you need to do is go ahead and flip this little tab just there. It's now going to bump the price up. If you do have the resources to start out with, then I would suggest going for the yearly program simply because it's going to save you money long term. And chances are you're going to love active campaign anyway, so you might as well go for that annual fee. And at this point, I do feel I need to mention that if you want to get started with this, there is a link to a free trial right here in the description. So if you want to go ahead and get that, it doesn't actually cost you anything more, but I will say it is an affiliate link. Now, remember, when you first start off with the account, you've got the free trial, but after that, it could be as little as 9 dollars per month so let's have a look and see exactly what you're going to get for that well in the light program right which is highlighted here you've got uh, marketing automation this is my favorite part so you can actually build email sequences based on what people are doing and it's kind of a drag and drop it's a little bit like flow charts back when you're at school it's so simple it's visual it's easier to do right you've got your unlimited email sending now some service providers actually charge you when you send the emails out which is crazy right and of course the drag and drop email builder i always find it really easy to use a previous campaign because then if you want to put all your signatures at the bottom it's so much easier to do You've got segmentation as well, which is something really cool as well. So if you've got people that have opened or clicked a particular email, then it's worth putting them into a different segment because that's going to then increase your emails open rates and the clicks going forward when you send them more targeted messages. Subscription forms, that just means that you can build a form inside of ActiveCampaign and use it anywhere else on one of your platforms. Let's say, for example, if you have a blog, you can put a subscription form in there. And the email automation and reporting is so cool. You can actually see how many people opened, when they opened it, who clicked, where they're from. It's got almost everything you could possibly want and even site and event tracking. So if you are using it for e-commerce, you can see who got to what point within their journey of being a customer of yours. So if they purchase, then you can segment them off into a separate list, which is super important when it comes to following up and selling more products to people because if you've got something, let's say you decide to sell um, some glasses and you've got some new jugs, then you can sell them a jug later on. It's a bad example, I know, but it's just something there for you. So the next step is gonna go through some of the pros and cons because you wanna make an informed decision if you're gonna get active campaign. So I just created this little video here for you. Just go through a few things and letting you know exactly what the pros and cons of active campaign are.